Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alina Ghost and I have a 10 month old baby boy called Aiden and I have been trying to review every single reusable nappy brand that I could find. And this episode is going to be all around Alva nappies. Before I start, all the good stuff. If you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up and a like. It really helps my content show up in other people's feeds. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe if you are new here. And if you are new here, I have so much good stuff in store for you. I am so passionate about reusable nappy brands. Basically, I love sustainability. I want to be eco-friendly when I've got a baby, especially because I know that's so hard and basically I'm just going to be going through every single reusable nappy brand as long as I can like source it, I want to try and find it. I'm in the UK so I'm going to try and swap it with some people. I'm going to try it by second hand as well so I'm really looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks. Just quickly, we are a bilingual family living in the UK so I do have Russian roots. I am teaching my son two languages, so both English and Russian at home and if you are interested in how that's going and how I do that, I'll make sure to pop a link right now so that you can check that out. I've been using reusable nappies for about seven months now. Um, I am absolutely loving it. I've done reviews on Little and Blooms, Bambi No Mio, so do check those out if you are interested in those. But today I'm going to be talking about Alva Nappy specifically. Apart from that, I'm trying to make those eco-friendly swaps at home. And this reusable nappy brand series is a way to actually get me to do that and a lot more and inspire other people to do that. So if I inspire you today, I've done my job and I'm happy. Cool, so without further ado, let's just get straight into the review. Let's get some basics out of the way. Firstly, um, they are an affordable brand. They're cheap and cheerful, a little bit like my Littles and Blooms review. I love the fact that they are very affordable. So if you are looking to start a journey with, let's say, reusable nappies just because you want to save some money, that's also cool. Um, and this is probably the brand for you because they do range from about five to 10 pounds. If you buy them secondhand, you can probably buy a bundle that's been pre-loved, obviously, but so much cheaper so do have a look out for them. However, they don't compromise on the style in the sense that I absolutely love their prints. So for example, these elephants, like I'm absolutely falling in love with their elephants and their other prints and stuff. So do check those out, they're absolutely lovely. The other thing is that these nappies are made in China. So if that is something that you don't like in a company, um, this brand is probably not for you. Moving on, in terms of size, um, they are actually birth to potty. Personally though, because I found pocket nappies quite difficult to um, change to a newborn when Aiden was very young. We started at three months, um, so I actually found that I had a lot of leakages with pocket nappies specifically. And although I haven't tried the same thing with Alva at that age, um, because I tried it with Littles and Blooms, I'm pretty sure that it would have been the same, that there would be some leaks. But if you keep watching, I'm going to show you a newborn trick in the sense that there's a way to actually fold it so that's even smaller um, and hopefully actually fits like a smaller baby. So what do I think about this nappy? If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I prefer pocket nappies. I absolutely love the fact that you can make pocket nappies fit your own lifestyle because I add my own inserts. I love pre-folds, which I add into those pocket nappies. And something that I love the most about pocket nappies is the fact that they dry so, so quickly. I put them on the dryer and then they end up being dry and I'm able to use them pretty much within the day. So that's awesome and it works for us. The Alva Pocket Nappy does come with its own insert, but I actually found it was a little bit softer than other inserts that I found. So I like the fact that it's a softer version of microfiber, but at the same time it is microfiber, which means that it is a man-made um, material, which is less absorbent than natural materials like bamboo and hemp. Um, yes, it's not as absorbent, it 
but it does dry quickly again and at the same time I think that you don't only use the one I recommend using a lot more because that one insert doesn't actually um, last as much as you want to so for me I don't even think that I could last an hour or two with an insert like that but then at the same time because this one insert is included within the pocket it does make it really slim but if you add it with the other stuff to make it last longer um, I found that it can get a lot chunkier especially if you're using that insert or a number of the same Alva inserts all together. I do love partnering up an Alva microfiber insert with something else so like a Bambino Mio um, booster or um, a pre-fold because I find that they last a lot longer and I also find that because the microfiber dries so much quicker I've got options in the future like if I'm doing my washing every two days then I've got an option to actually have a dry one whilst I'm using some of the others so it's like a, a constant cycle and in my opinion you always need a mix of those inserts and I don't know if you guys are the same let me know in the comments below something that I personally found to be a little bit irksome with this nappy are the poppers I personally found that the poppers are really hard to click it's just I don't know whether I'm doing something wrong but I don't have this issue with my other nappies I don't know why I found it so difficult to keep clicking and especially because Aiden is now walking I'm so excited that he's walking at 10 months do you believe that anyway the fact that he's walking and he's a mover and that I have to like wrestle him and tackle him in order to actually change the nappy that he's got on when I'm trying to put the Alva nappies on I find it very difficult to like hold him and pop the poppers to make sure that they go on at the same time so um, I personally think that that's a little bit of an annoyance uh, that's the only thing that I would say is letting down this pocket nappy in my opinion whereas for example when I did that review around Bambino Mio's because they've got the velcro it's so much easier to actually get him changed on the move Whereas with this popper is a lot more difficult. Nonetheless, I still do like the fact that it's got both like two poppers at the top and one at the bottom. It's like a reinforcement to make sure that actually it doesn't come off. And the other good thing about the poppers being difficult, although it's difficult for me to put on, because Aiden also loves to fiddle with the nappy now. So when it comes to the Velcros, he actually pulls the Velcro off. <laughs> so when it comes to the poppers he's going to find it so much more difficult to actually try and pop it off and actually he has never ever popped one yet so that's a good thing about the poppers but the other thing I was going to mention is around newborn sizing I mentioned this briefly at the beginning there is a hack for newborn so firstly let me explain to you that when Aiden was three months uh, because it was the summer, because we were in lockdown and weren't going anywhere, um, I didn't mind the fact that my Littles and Blooms pocket nappy was leaking. And because I think there's so many similarities between the Littles and Blooms pocket nappy and the Alva pocket nappy, that I think that they will probably be the same for a smaller baby. However, I didn't actually know about this newborn hack, and I found this out from... Um, Little House on Purpose YouTube channel so do check her out um, I'm gonna show you exactly what she did in order to make the pocket nappy even smaller so I wish I knew this trick back then so that I could have tried it with my baby cool so firstly this is what you do you put together the poppers in the top row with the middle row so you're leaving the bottom row of the poppers open then you fold up the top bit outwards so that you leave the bottom row of poppers so that you can take the one side and go to the other side of the popper as you can see and then you grab the other one and go to the popper on the other side so that you can create that crisscross and it makes such a smaller nappy. 
I hope that that makes sense and that it was useful for you and I hope that you can make use of this trick because I thought it was super awesome. I've actually had a few questions around how I do my washing when it comes to the reusable nappies and what I do is actually wash um, the nappies with my baby's clothes in the same wash every two days. For about six months I did do washing on at 60 degrees so I know that that's quite a lot. Because these nappies are microfiber they can definitely withstand it. I found that actually when it comes to stains um, it doesn't stay on the nappy that long especially if I do a high heat. They also don't get ruined but do bear in mind that I've only had it for a month or two However, I have watched videos on YouTube where other people have used Alva nappies for about two children. So let's say that's years, isn't it? That's years worth of washing constantly. And these nappies still were able to withstand it. The elastic was still fine. The prints looked great. So um, in my opinion, I think they can withstand so much washing. And actually, when it comes to like that affordability and durability, this definitely is a really good choice and a really good brand. So the other thing that I would do is actually add scent boosters. There is some caution around whether you should be using extra stuff in your washing when you're washing these nappies. But the fact that these ones are so cheap, I don't actually mind trialing some different washing routines with them without worrying about whether they'd get ruined or not. So the fact that I added scent boosters and they were absolutely fine, for me, I'm happy to continue using those and I know that they're still working well for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful to you. If you've been watching this video and you finally decided that you will start a reusable nappy journey, I would absolutely love to hear from you. Please do comment down below or check out my Instagram, which is at Mrs. Alina Ghost. I'd love to actually know from you and the fact that I inspired somebody to start a sustainable journey with their baby. I've got plenty of reviews coming up in the coming weeks so I'd love for you to actually stick around and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you next week!